We're asking the questions you didn't know you can ask your banker. Join us on a financial journey as we help you take it to the next level. Hi, I'm Morgan from the marketing department at Valley and I'm here today with Amy Feliciano to talk about mortgages, maybe some refinance, and basically all things that have to do with buying a home and getting a loan for that home. Hey, Amy, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Can you tell our audience where you're based out of or maybe like the region that you serve and where your expertise lies within the home mortgage, home ownership and mortgage process? Sure thing. Um, I'm based off of Long Island, New York. Um, and I serve New York, New Jersey, uh, Alabama, and Florida. So I'm able to do business in, in all four of those states. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say my expertise is in home equities. Okay. Um, home equity loans and lines of credit. Okay. Uh, but I handle purchase business for new homeowners, um, refinances for existing homeowners. Uh, and, and I really enjoy doing purchases for first time home buyers, is one of my favorite things. Cool. So you just mentioned what seems to be like a couple of different types of home loans from like a new mortgage to a refinance. What are the differences between some of those? I think most people know what a mortgage is. You need that to buy the home. A refinance is basically when you're kind of closing again on that home you already have, maybe for a better rate yeah. or something like that. A lot of times people will do a refi um, for, you know, either to get a new borrower on the loan, okay. to take somebody off of the loan oh, if they okay. like, or if they'd like to do cash out. Okay. Uh, so you can do just for the rate and term, which is the length of time and the rate, uh, or you can do a cash out where you're borrowing uh, against the amount of equity you've already paid off, essentially. Okay. And you're starting over again with a new term. Okay. And you mentioned, I feel like you mentioned something else when, we, when you were just listing your areas of expertise. So what were some of the home equities are, home we equity. do a, a ton of? Okay. Um, home equities are a great tool for homeowners that are looking for either a little liquidity Okay. Um, a little bit of a cushion, you know, okay. just to have a little breathing room, mm -hmm. uh, especially in today's rate environment mm -hmm. where credit card rates are pretty steep. Okay. Um, for the most part, your home equity line of credit, you're going to have a much more favorable rate. Okay. Um, and, you know, if you don't use it, you don't necessarily have a monthly bill. You yeah. may just have an annual fee, okay. but it's worth having that cushion. Okay. That's really interesting. And, you know, since COVID in the last few years, I know like the home buying process has been really up and down. Rates were low, rates are high, there's um, a lot of um, homes available and there's no homes available. Yeah. So it's kind of been a roller coaster of a ride, I'm assuming, the last couple of years. Now that we are in 2023, what are some tips you might give someone who is looking to buy a home, but they don't know where to get started? You know, maybe they're overwhelmed. Do you have any two or three just tips for them to keep in mind about starting that process? Yeah, definitely. Really, first and foremost, I would encourage anybody to start with a budget and a plan. Um, start with some kind of interest-bearing account and, you know, set aside funds specifically for this. You know, you don't want to be using more than 30% of your credit utilization. Uh, I would definitely advise anybody, really, to keep track of their credit health, okay. so to speak. Make sure that as you're checking your credit report, you know, either every couple of months or annually, I would definitely scan your credit report for any either misreported items or incorrect items. Okay. Uh, because that can really take a hit on your finances. Um, and, you know, the better off your credit is, mm -hmm. the more favorable rates you're going to have. Right. And we were just talking about credit in another video with James, and he was explaining sort of what credit scores are and, and how they work. So that's really good to know how they tie in to the home buying process. Um, I've had some people ask questions about mortgage pre-qualification. What is a pre-qualification? Do you need it? Is it uh, limited to a certain time? Maybe I would really say pre-qual it would be like step two after getting, you know, some savings down, okay. figuring out how much you wanna have, you know, yeah. in your reserves. Yeah. Um, your pre-qual can help you figure out how much you can afford, really. Okay. So, you know, you could really, even if you're not ready, I love starting with a client from the pre-qual stage okay. because I can let you know, hey, look, like, you know, based on your credit history, these are where your rates could be, you know, for now, this is what the rates look like. 
Um, this is how much home it looks like you could afford. Okay. And if you're looking for, you know, something different than what we're currently able to offer you yeah. and to pre-qualify you for, you know, I can let you know this is how much further you have to go. Got so it. That, that's kind of one of my favorite things yeah. is to revisit with people that we've done a pre-qual with. Yeah. Um, because then, you know, you finally get that home run where it's like, all right, now we're where we need to be. Yeah. Um, and so you, you can really make it happen. Yeah, I love That's my favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> so would someone come to Valley to get pre-qualified? Oh, yeah. And what is that process? You fill out an application. They talk to someone like you. How does that work? Um, so I do a lot of my business online, on the phone. Um, most of the time, you don't have to leave your house Okay. You know, we'll, we'll send you the pre-qual letter in an email. Okay. Um, we'll discuss over the phone. We can do a Zoom call if you prefer. Okay. Or I can meet you at a bank branch, wherever you are. Okay. Um, you know, and it, it really will tell her the experience to you. A lot of the time, if you just have a, your local branch that you're comfortable with, if you come in and say to one, any one of your personal bankers, any of the tellers, let them know that you're interested in getting pre-qualified, they'll point you in the right direction to your local mortgage consultant. Okay. Do you have any tips on how someone should prepare as they are going through the process of buying a home? Yeah. Like I, I have my own condo. I actually have my mortgage through Valley. And I felt like, I felt like it was a very big process, but at the same time, it was very step-by-step. -step. It wasn't really overwhelming. Now, obviously, not everyone's going to have their mortgage through Valley, which is fine. But do you have any recommendations for how someone should organize themselves for this longer haul process? Yeah, certainly. I mean, and like you said, it's not it's no small task. It takes a decent amount of effort to get ready yeah. and to prepare yourself. Yeah. Um, but I think if you are mindful of your budget and realistic about what you can afford, um, you know, you get pre-qualified, so you take your pre-qual letter with you, home hunting. Mm -hmm. uh, that makes a big difference because then sellers will see that you're serious, oh, that you're okay. prepared. Okay, so they know that, like, a bank is has your back. Yeah, t to be fair, you know, most sellers, if you don't have a pre-qualification, you don't seem serious. Okay, that's so interesting. So that's, like, a big, big weapon, you know, to have in your tool belt. That's, yeah. I would say, one of the most important things to take care okay. of. Um, from can that there, expire the pre-qualification? Yes. Yeah, pre qual can expire. It's usually 60 days. Okay. So, you know, you just come back to us. We've got your file already ready to go. You just give us a little bit of updated info, some updated bank statements, maybe some pay stubs, and we take it from there. Okay, cool. And that basically will continue to last until they're ready to go yeah. forward with that. And then once, you know, once you're looking for a home and you take your pre-qual letter house hunting um, and you're in contract, then you come back to us. You let us know here's our contract okay and then we you know we do we take care of all the documentation with you run through the steps with you and you know try to make it as seamless as a process as possible so tell me for a first-time home buyer are there any programs specifically for that buyer aside from just applying for a standard mortgage anything special for that type of yeah of course those are actually my favorite people Good. to work with um so we have two proprietary programs okay. uh, that are just Valley Bank programs um, that are kind of a alternative to an FHA loan um, or a conventional loan that's backed by Fannie or Freddie. Um, so we have the Community Advantage, mm -hmm. uh, which is a 3% uh, down, mm -hmm. um, no private mortgage insurance, no PMI. Okay. Uh, so typically you would put down 20% and you avoid the PMI. If you put down less than 20% on a conventional loan, you end up having to pay private mortgage insurance as okay. well. So it's an additional cost. Uh, so Valley pays the PMI for that, oh. month, which is very cool. Um, so that is just income capped. Okay. So if you uh, are low to moderate income right. in the specific area that right. you're looking at, we mm -hmm. look at those numbers. Mm -hmm. And if you qualify, you get that great advantage of not making that additional payment. Oh, wow. I'm putting down a smaller Yes, yeah, smaller putting down even, yeah. percent uh, up to 2% of that can be gifts or grants. So only 1% wow. needs to be your own funds. Wow. Really cool. Okay. Do you help setting up those gifts or grants if somebody could qualify for them? Sometimes. Okay. Well, can you give uh, that customer the advice of how to go about navigating? Certainly. Yeah. Becoming eligible for those grants. Certainly. Yeah. We, would, we would kind of point you in the right direction of where okay. to look. Um, generally, it's kind of specific to your area. Okay. Um, and then we do have another community program called the Community Plus Program. 
um, and that's based on the area that you're buying. So if the uh, home that you're buying is in a low to moderate income area, there's no income cap and you could put down as low as 5% with no PMI. Okay. So similar. Yeah. But it's kind of a, you know, different more, qualification. Exactly. More based on the area that you're looking to purchase. Right. Both sound like really great programs though, and can save you a ton of money. Up a front. ton of money. Yes. It's, you know, private mortgage insurance can really be helpful. Yeah. If you are in the position where you just don't, don't have the funds available right away, mm -hmm. but if you can avoid it, why not? You know? Yeah. Why not have that savings? That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. One of the things I hear a lot within Valley is that our associates go above and beyond to help our customers get their home, get their car, get the loan that they need. Do you have any stories that you feel comfortable sharing that stand out to you about people you've worked with who like maybe were having a hard time securing the loan for their home or the refinance and like you saw it through from start to finish? Um, I actually just finished up with somebody um, a client of, from one of our bank branches that already had an existing uh, relationship, mm -hmm. they were looking to buy an investment property. Okay. They didn't necessarily want to take out a mortgage at a higher rate, a right. brand new first mortgage on the home. Um, so they used the equity on their primary home that they lived in to finance oh. the purchase. Okay. So it actually ended up being really kind of rush towards the end because they had a deadline. They yeah. had to close at a certain amount of time. Right. So we had to make our closing fit in Line up. and there was just enough time to kind of smoothly transition. Okay. And it worked out great. And you know, the gentleman was coming from South Africa. Oh wow. He was working in South Africa. Okay. Um so he had to catch a plane. Yeah. Be back in New Jersey yeah. by a certain time for his closing for with us. Yeah. And then for his closing on the new home that he was purchasing. Right. But it all, you know, it all fell into place and I feel like one of the good things about Valley is that, you know, it, you still have a little bit of a small town bank feel. Yeah. You have the attention to detail right. that, you know, your neighborhood bank would give you. Right. But you have the resources of a larger bank. So right. I, I feel like that really makes a big difference. Yeah, absolutely. It's like your bankers get to know you. Yes. And they know you when you walk in. 100%. So because the mortgage process or I would think the refinance process can be several weeks long and there's a lot of documentation needed, a lot of things that have to fall into place. How is there any way that customers can manage the details, the updates and the progress or do they need to constantly be calling you for that? Um, so that's one of the honestly my favorite things about the way our process is set up. Uh, there's multiple ways you can track your applications progress. Mm -hmm. um, you can either use our Valley My Mortgage app or you can use the desktop version, which is okay. essentially the same thing. Um, but right from the beginning, right from uh, applying, mm -hmm. you can track, you know, what documents are needed. You'll get an automated update or an automated alert either oh. by text or by email okay. um, saying, you know, you've got some tasks to complete oh, and wow. all the document requests will be right there. Anything that they need to e-sign, they can e-sign. There's no wow. printing and rescanning. and got it. So, this is, this so you are kept um, caught up because you're getting these notifications and yes. it's telling you what you need. It's confirming everything is done. Yeah. It's like people are always thrilled to use it yeah. because they don't have to pop into the branch every time right. they need new documentation. Right. Uh, they don't have to hunt you down, you know, over yeah. the telephone. Like as soon as I submit something to underwriting, it's in underwriting and they could see that. They get a notification. They get a text message, they get an email, it's great. And this app, I'm assuming, is secure because the personal documentation is Correct. there. Yes, yeah. it's, it's highly secure. Um, you know, even via email, we have very like staunch rules of what right. we're allowed to send via email. Okay. And, and if you attempt to send, you know, too much personal information mm -hmm. sometimes, they'll, it'll be totally blocked. So oh, okay. wow. it's, yes, it's very stringent. Because I know that that is obviously something people worry about. And I know it's something we take really seriously. Yeah. So it seems like that has transferred over onto that home buying side. Correct. Well. Yeah. Cool. That sounds really cool. Yeah. Um, are, do you find that this app is somewhat easy to use? I know like my parents are not the most savvy, but it it's does seem very, like it would save them a ton of time. Yeah. It's very user friendly. Like I've, I've worked with borrowers into their 80s that, okay. that like find it, you know, you give them a quick little crash course yeah. and it's it's super simple. Okay, that's great to know. Yeah. So that is uh, what we have for you today on our residential mortgage and refinancing topic. Thank you for joining us. And again, if you want to work with Amy, she's available to help you with your 
your home buying and refinancing needs. Thank you again for joining. Thank me. you. And look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.